Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Pagoda Philippines Incorporated, RCBC Discartec, Bernabe Construction and Industrial Corporation of Asia, and Balikbayan Handicrafts celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Eric Lacandula, SVD. We now begin our celebration. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Come to God for your healing. Don't hesitate. God, who is merciful, loving, and compassionate, will always bless, preserve, heal, and restore us. In this Mass, let us gather together our intentions and prayers and offer them to God. And we ask God to bless us and all our undertakings for this week. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. God wills life, not death. By the envy of the devil, death entered the world. But this would be undone by faith in Jesus. The first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have been, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world. And they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please repeat. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not for my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name for his anger last but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dusting. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Paul appeals to the Corinthians that since God in Christ has been generous with his gift of life, so too must share, so they too must share their resources with their needy brothers and sisters. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your abundance at the present time should supply their needs so that their abundance may also supply your needs that there may be equality as it is written whoever had much 
did not have more. And whoever had little did not have less. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come, lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet, she was not helped but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I will be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? This regarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but asleep. As they ridiculed him, then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Tilitakum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given 
something to eat. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, our divine healer, can transform our infirmities and brokenness. Jesus, our divine healer, can transform our infirmities and brokenness. His touch, ang kanyang haplos, is not merely a physical act, but a profound, life-changing experience. Ang haplos na Jesus, the touch of the Master, the touch of the Lord, transcends physical healing, carrying a deeper spiritual significance. Ang haplos ni Jesus, ang haplos ng Panginoon, symbolizes His unwavering willingness to reach out to the marginalized, outcasts, and suffering, transforming their lives in ways they never thought possible. I would like to share one particular experience in my first mission assignment in Tanzania, East Africa, a few years ago. It was a Sunday, and I celebrated Mass in one of our outstations, one of our chapels. After the Mass, the chairman of the outstation approached and told me, Father, people are waiting for you outside, if you could bless them. So I went out of the sacristy to bless the people. I realized, hindi pa pala umaalis ang mga tao. Pagkatapos ng misa, nag pa sila sa chapel. Ang dami nila. And before I started the prayer, I was moved with pity when I saw a woman with elephantiasis for the first time. Alam niyo po ba kung ano yung elephantiasis? It's a sickness and condition spread by mosquitoes. As I was seeing the people and I started blessing, alam niyo po, nag-uunahan ang mga tao na makalapit sa akin at tamaan ng holy water. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, as I was blessing the people, Lord, I know I am not a healing priest. I know that the grace of healing comes from you. Please, make me an instrument of your healing. Please, Lord, heal these people. Brothers and sisters in the gospel, both Jairus and the woman with hemorrhage give us example of faith in Christ's power. For only miracles can cure Jairus' daughter who is on her deathbed. And this woman who has done everything humanly possible to get better, to be healed by Jesus' healing power. Nakakatouch yung pananampalataya ng mga characters sa ating gospel. Si Jairus, a synagogue official, approached Jesus, Lord, please heal my daughter. And the woman with hemorrhages, sa napakahabang panahon, ang sabi niya sa kanyang sarili, mahawakan ko lang ang tasel, ang dulo ng kaniyang damit. Ang damit ng Panginoon, ako ay gagaling. Brothers and sisters, God wills life, not death. And we heard that in the first reading. To be close to Jesus assures life and salvation. Indeed, brothers and sisters, miracles happen to those who believe in God's power. Ulitin ko. Miracles do happen to those who believe in God's power. 
sa mga taong may malakas na pananampalataya at pagtitiwala sa kabutihan at kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Mabuti at mapagpala ang Diyos. Yan ang lagi nating tatandaan. Di man tayo karapat dapat sa mga pagpapala ng Diyos dahil sa ating mga pagkukulang at mga pagkakasala. God remains faithful and generous to us. Mabuti, mapagpala ang Diyos. Sa harap ng Diyos, tayo ay magpakumbaba at sundan natin ang halimbawa ng pagpapakumbaba ni Jesus. In the second reading, Paul teaches us, For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though He was rich, for our sake He became poor, so that by His poverty we might become rich. Ang haplos ni Jesus, the touch of the Master, reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles and that there is hope for healing and restoration. His words to the woman with hemorrhages were consoling. Anong narinig natin sa Ibanghelyo? Sabi ni Jesus doon sa babae, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go, go in peace and be cured of your affliction. Ano naman ang sabi ni Jesus doon sa synagogue official? Sabi niya, do not be afraid, have faith. Ito po yung paalala sa atin ni Jesus when we experience hopelessness. Pag nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa sa buhay natin. Ipinaparamdam sa atin na mayroong Diyos na kasama tayo sa buhay natin. At lagi nating tatandaan that miracles happen to those who believe in God's power. Sa mga taong naniniwala sa kabutihan ng Diyos, sa kagandahang loob ng Diyos, sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos, na buhay na kasama natin sa buhay natin araw-araw. Brothers and sisters, Alam ng Diyos ang pinagdadaanan mo, ang mga hinahangad mo, at ang mga sakripisyo mo. Kung kaya manalig ka sa Kanya, tulutan mo si Jesus na haplusin ka ng Kanyang mapagpagaling at mapagpalang mga kamay. Lagi mong tatandaan na miracles do happen to those who believe in God's power. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may receive healing in mind, body, and soul and become instruments of healing to one another. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May the church, the people of God, continue Christ's healing work by caring for all those who are sick, depressed, the abandoned, and the elderly. We pray, Lord of life, hear our prayer. May the doctors and nurses, social workers, and all those who, are for, who care for the sick, the suffering, the poor, and the oppressed, do their job with patience, skill, and mercy, we pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May all who mourn the passing of their loved ones be comforted by their faith in the risen Lord, who has brought us life that can never be taken away, we pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations may the lord protect them from all dangers strengthen them in their loneliness give joy to their communities and fulfillment and their apostolate may the lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom we pray lord of life hear our prayer let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who are asking for our prayers and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our humble petitions. Help us to have more faith in Jesus' healing power, your love for us and for all humanity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. found of all holiness. May holy door for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew who fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from me for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Gathered together as God's family with confidence, let us sing together the prayer that the Lord Himself, our Lord Jesus, taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you.
my dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, our divine healer, the incarnate word of the Father, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. healing prayer. Almighty and loving Father, you are the strength. You are the source of all goodness and strength. We approach you, we come to you, in our humble supplication. Listen to our prayers and petitions, Lord. You know the deepest desires of our hearts. Heal us. Touch us with your healing hands that all our afflictions sickness and infirmities may receive healing from you. Strengthen us, Lord, and give us the necessary graces that we need to endure all the sufferings, all the challenges 
that we experience in our day-to-day -day life. Guide us, O Lord, in all our decision-making. Enlighten us with your Holy Spirit that everything we do, that in all our discernments, it may give glory to your name and contribute to our well-being through the motherly protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May our Almighty God heal us and bless us. Amen. We would like to greet happy birthday to Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SBD, who celebrated his birthday on June 29, kahapon, producer of our Healing Eucharist Sunday TV Mass. Father Glenn, happy, happy birthday. Also to Jeffrey Manatad, our staff, happy, happy birthday din sa iyo. God's blessings. Also, we acknowledge the following. Maraming salamat po kay uh, Erwin Tulfo and family, Charito, Tambunting, Juan and family, Rodel Manansala and family, Rita Cruz, Lito Lapid and family, and uh, for the eternal repose of the soul of Pempe Abilia. And all our intentions and prayers, we lift, it, we lift them up to the Lord. We present them to God who is merciful, loving, and generous. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless and protect you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We go and continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.